Hi guys, welcome you all to my channel Explore Edu TV. So, a new series of video lectures are going to be uploaded now on a subject called as Digital Electronics. So this subject is very important yet again for branches of engineering like electronics, electrical, instrumentation, also in case of computer science and everything, many branches of engineering have digital as a part of study. Today, as the world is transforming towards digital, there is no need to say the importance of digital electronics. So it's very important. It is included in your earlier semesters only of your engineering because it has a lot of applications in the other subjects that you learn over the higher semesters. So it's a very important subject. So please do not forget to like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't. Share it to all your friends and the people you know can get benefited out of it because many videos are going to be uploaded on this channel on digital electronics. So do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Also, the topics which are going to be covered is going to be mentioned over here. So please make a note of it. So, the, so let's begin with the first topic of digital electronics called as introduction and the types of the number system. Before getting into this topic, at the end of the topic, we are also going to solve a numerical based on this topic, which is a part of gate problem only asked in the gate exam. So do not uh, skip this video and watch it till the end. Understand all the concepts because these are the basic concepts. This concept will be used in the application or in the form of a numerical, which is asked in the gate exam and it will help you to solve the question well. So do not skip this video and watch it till the end to get a complete understanding about the concept. So, what is digital electronics? Digital electronics is basically a field of electronics involving digital signal as 0 and 1. So, when we talk about digital electronics, the all the complex signal, everything, everything, input, output narrows down to 0 and 1. So, we will be talking everything in terms of 0 and 1. There will be many circuits, there will be many complex signals. So, please make a note of these topics very well. Because this is the basic of digital electronics. It will have a lot of applications, not only in this subject, as I mentioned, but also in other subjects. So please make a note of it. But do not forget that whatever we do in digital electronics, everything will be revolving around 0 and 1. So digital electronic circuits are usually made from logic assemblies of logic gates consisting of complex circuits like combination and sequential circuit. So these terms we will be learning in the future and we will be learning different kind of circuits also. But just to give you a small overview, digital electronics overall revolves around 0 and 1 and there are various complex circuits which are present digital electronics uh, in which the inputs and the output will be there and everything will be around 0 and 1 only. Please just once have a look uh, over the topics that we will be learning in this particular uh, subject digital electronics. Uh, so, we will be learning one, one after the other. We are beginning with introduction and type of the number system. There will be many other videos which, which will be coming in a row. So, please make a note of it. These notes are also present in the description box of, my channel, of this particular video. So, do not forget to download it and make a use of it. So, what are the type of number systems? So, we have num different kind of number systems. One is the binary number system, the octal number system, the decimal number system and the hexadecimal number system. So, what is the radix of the number system? The number of independent digits used in the number system is the radix or the, or the base of the number system. So, what happens is that the, there are number different number system like you have the binary, like you have the octal, the decimal, the hexadecimal. So, each number system will have independent digits in that. And the number of independent digits will be given as radix or the base. Both the terminology are the same. Either you see the radix of the number system or you say the base of the number system. So for example, we have a binary number system which will have only 0 and 1. So the radix is 2 because the independent digits are only 0 and 1. Then you have the octal which will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Hence, the radix is given as 8 because there are 8 independent digits over here. Next, you have the decimal which is given as 0 to 9. The radix is given as 10 since there are 10 independent digits over here. Then, we have the hexadecimal 
in which you have 0 to 9 and a to f. Total number of independent digits are 16 and hence the radix is given as 16. So I hope I am very clear with this. The different kind of number systems are binary, octal, decimal, hexadecimal. Radix is the number of independent digits in that particular number system. Binary has only 0 and 1, hence the radix is 2. Octal has 0 to 7, radix is 8. Decimal has 0 to 9, radix is given as 10. Hexadecimal has 0 to 9 and a to f. In total, there are 16 independent digits, hence radix is given as 16. This radix is basically used to indicate the kind of number system. So if a number is given to you and a radix is given to you, from the radix you can identify which kind of number system it is. If it is radix is 2, it's a binary. If it's 8, it's octal. If it is 10, it's decimal. If it's 16, it is hexadecimal. So let us try to solve a gate problem which was asked in 2011. And let's try to apply what we learned onto this problem. So the question says, the base of the number system for additional operation is 24 plus 14 is equal to 41. To be true, what should be the base? Now if you see 24 plus 14 in ideal condition is 38 and that is for my decimal number system. But here I am getting 41. So which kind of number system it is, is the question. So if it is 8, it is going to be octal. If it is 6, it is going to be that decimal system. So that is what you have to understand. So the standard ones are decimal, octal, binary and hexadecimal. But there can be other system also in which you have 6, 7, 5, anything. But one thing is sure this is not decimal because 24 plus 14 is not equal to 41 in a decimal number system. So how do you solve this question? If there is a technique. Write down this expression over here. And from the LSB to the MSB of this particular digit, write down the x raised to 0, x raised to 1. Had there been another value over here, we would have written x raised to 2, so on and so forth. Again for 14, x raised to 0, for 4, x raised to 1 as 1, x raised to 0, x raised to 1. Trying to find out the answer, 2x plus 4 plus x plus 4 is equal to 4x plus 1. And the x is equal to 7. The option B is the correct answer. So, how you are going to solve this question is, when the expression is given to you, write down the expression over here. Start from the LSB, take x raised to 0 for that and keep on putting x raised to 1, x raised to 2, x raised to 3. Since we have only two numbers, hence we have x raised to 0, x raised to 1. Similarly for this, similarly for this. x raised to 0 into 4, x into 2. Similarly, write down the entire expression and find out the value of x. Now, what does this x raised to 7 mean? There are 7 independent digits. That means the number of digits will be from 0 to 6. Hence, my option is B, 7. So, this is all about this uh, particular video. Please, if you like this video, do not forget to like, share, subscribe to this video and to my channel. Follow me on Instagram. My channel is Explore Edu to Teach and if you liked it, please share it to as many people as possible. Thank you so much. God bless you.